I, I don't know how to do this yet. Uh, I will try and figure it out. But I, I do promise you that we will come back here and we will try and kill the other demon. Oh, there's only in the ancient legends it is stated that one day an undead shall be chosen. To leave the undead asylum in pilgrimage to the land of the ancient lords. Lordran. Anyways, um, so I forget what I was talking about. I, I don't know, so I'm just not gonna try and remember, but here we are. Um, and Orlando is this place all the way at the top. Uh, that's the place you go to defeat these two guys that are difficult. So difficult to take you, like, it can take you so long to kill them. Their name is Smo and Ornstein, I want to say. And they're, like, one of, like, some of the, like, hardest bosses ever in this game. So, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna upgrade my... No, I'm gonna upgrade my strength to level 16. And if you haven't seen this, um, I I'm probably gonna die a lot, but we're just gonna try it anyway. Um, you can get Lord Nito's sword right at the very beginning. I, I think, like, that's the only time you can ever get it, too. Um, you have to be... I I've heard that the only way to get it, though, is... You have to be a wanderer, which is what. Wait, no, I'm. I forget what I am. A warrior, sorry, or a bandit, in order to get it. Um. Which, I don't know if that's true or not, but uh, I've played it with both of those two guys, and I have gotten the Nido sword before, but you die a lot trying to get to it. So. Let me show something. It, see, the reason why I put my strength to level 16 but kept my dis dexterity at 13 is because it requires like 24 strength, I want to say, in order to wield it, but it only requires 13, I want to say, of dexterity. So if you have 16 strength, I'm pretty sure you can just dual, like, have it in um, two handed and it'll work just fine. Um, but yeah, it's a really good weapon for starting off in the game with. Uh, going through here, you see how I just skipped those skeletons, not attacking them? I've heard that if you attack them, you cannot get the sword. Um, so, yeah, this is why I'm just gonna say that I'm probably gonna die a lot. You, you, you have to be like a way higher level than what I'm at right now um, before coming down here is what I would say oh god oh god push it okay so now this time when I come back down here if, if I die which I probably will um, I don't have to go back in here oh jeez yeah, move oh gosh this was a bad idea run 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 I don't want my health to be this slow right now. Oh gosh. Run, 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 run! Oh, Jesus Christ. Anyway, uh, see these skeleton dudes? You, you just want to run past them. And you see this fire dude? Just run past them. Just, just run past all these guys. My controller crapped out. God damn it. Oh god, oh god, he's gonna try and shoot a fireball at you right here. You want to not get hit by that because that'll do a sh shit ton of damage. See, like, see how much damage that guy just did to me? Oh, gosh. Oh, Jesus. Ah! This, this is not good right here. Ah! I always hate when that happens. Just, just kill these guys for me, man. That's the nice thing about those guys. They're so unpredictable, like... Sometimes they attack you and kill you. Other times they don't. 
Ah! Oh, God. Um, there's a shortcut you can do. You don't have to, like, go through that guy right there. Jesus, I don't want to fight this dude. Yeah, just do that. Uh, you can come down here. Uh, and then you just run. Run like crazy, man. And then you go up this ladder as fast as you can. See this guy right here? He's going to be right here. You might want to talk to him. I don't know if I should, though. Ah! <laughs> God damn it. I said no on accident. Toggle. Talk. Oh, I know what it is. Well, this place is true. <laughs> I can't talk to him. He usually gives you something. Oh, gosh. No. No, that's not what I wanted to do. No. No. This is what I wanted to do. Okay. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. 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 Yeah. Jump off, you crazy bastard. Yeah, this guy's crazy right there. Um. Anyway, he. You just gotta run like crazy. I hope that guy does not pull that lever. Okay. Thank God. He did not pull that lever again. Sometimes he does that if you don't talk to him and you just, like, keep on going. Because, like, he's a dick. And, of course, I just died. Ugh. But now I don't have to pull any other levers. And I, I can just take lots of shortcuts to get there now. Don't have to go through with so many people now. Um... But yeah, this this is this is always the, just one of the difficult things to get. And there's a bonfire that you can get to, but I would not recommend sitting there because I did that once and it took me like in like half an hour trying to get back out of there because like it that you haven't killed any of those like flame dudes, and those are the guys that keep that resurrect the skeletons back. So. It gets really difficult, um, so I would not recommend trying to rest at the bonfire. I mean, if you don't want to, like, go through this process again, uh, I, I guess you could do that, but I, I, just fair warning, you might, uh, you might have to, like, spend a while trying to get back up into the Firelink Shrine. Um, but yeah, I will end this video once I get the sword, because that's just gonna, that's the achievement right now. I'm trying to get this sword, because it's like one of the most difficult things for me. We're just gonna heal right here. Yeah, because that guy's gonna come and follow me like a jackass. Uh, Jesus Christ, controller. I, I need to get a new controller. This thing is just crap. You wanna jump... My guy just, just didn't want to jump right there, so I don't know why. Maybe we'll try to get the sword at another time. I don't, I don't know. Um, but I really want to get the sword. I guess I could if I wanted to, like, cut pieces out of the video while I'm trying to get there, but. I, I don't really want to do that and spend the time doing that. I, I just want to make it like a full on video without any cuts. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe we'll do that if it takes me like a long time to try and get this sword. Oh, somebody died. I didn't kill them though, so it doesn't like affect anything, and I don't know why I got hit. Right there, that was dumb. I got hit again, damn it. Um. But yeah, once I get that, the sword. You know what, maybe, I, I just. I, if I don't get it this video, I will get it before the next video, and I will try 
and uh, and I will just continue the video from damn it dude what the hell ugh I'm this is taking a long time I might just end the video soon and then just like call it quits and all that you know I'm gonna go a different way I'm gonna go up here I'll get the extra items that you can get up here first that way I'm not just boring the hell out of you uh, um uh, I don't know maybe I will just like have this video based on like escaping the asylum and all that and then I'll just next video start it up with the sword because this is gonna maybe take a long time because I'm I'm, I'm not that good at Dark Souls so I might die a lot trying to get to there um I just got something called homeward bone up here that's very useful um I I would say you could, maybe you should use that at the, this point um like when you get the sword um to get back to firelink shrine without like wanting to die and like just spawning back up there because uh uh, you can buy um, Homeward Bone from a blacksmith down here, and I'm pretty sure you can buy it from a merchant that's in the like um, sewers area where the rats are. Go, go to hell. Oh, he probably is in hell though, because he's a skeleton. Um. I, I, that would be hell for me. I, I don't know if that would be hell for any of you guys, but I, I feel like that would be hell for me. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'll be able to get the sword this video. Uh, if not, then I'll just get it um, before the next video. That way you don't have to watch me go through all this over and over and be bored. That, and then we can just continue with the story and all that. You know what? To hell with it. I'm just gonna go this way. I usually don't go this way though because there's like three skeletons over here. And like you get hit so many times like that. But thankfully when you get into the next area down here which is a demon um, knight dude. He he uh, he might be difficult. I wouldn't. You don't want to kill him or attack him either. Oh gosh why are they following me? Okay, well, I guess we'll just try and get into this coffin. See, you'll find this coffin open, and you want to go in it. Okay. Oh, that took such a long time. So, let's see if I can do this still, though. If it, this, this, like, usually takes a minute or two for you to get there. So, like, um, if, if it takes you a long time, don't try not to worry or get bored or anything. Just, just be a little bit patient because it is worth it. Um, if it, this takes me a long time, though. I, I will get out because I might have done something wrong. I don't, I don't know what I would have done that was wrong if I did anything wrong. But yeah. Yeah, this is taking an awful long time. I maybe I did something wrong. I, I don't I don't know. But this is taking an awful long time. Alright, well I guess I'll just uh get the sword and have it for the next video. Alright. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry for like it being so short and not continuing with anything else and just me trying to get this sword, but 